Are you ready to die? I think you are. What did I do to get here? What did I do to get here? Of course, I know what I did to get here. A bribe. A faction. A mission. A failed mission, of course. The worst enemy in the soul is a blowout. A radiation storm that swipes everything on its way. The only savior is a shelter. With every blowout, the zone changes. It did in 1986 when the first accident, but it did when the second catastrophe. Physics anomalies, mutants, objects with supernatural properties called artifacts. With every blowout, new anomalies appeared. anomaly. I remember the last time I saw a poor bastard getting trapped into one of those. When I found his hand it had more blood than mud as he resisted sinking his hands in the ground, not to be pulled into the vortex center. The anomaly lifted him in the air, and after spinning him, his parts were spread all over the place. Stupid rookie. It's worse to resist. When the zone claims your life, you give it up. It's not yours, no matter what. It, de it definitely was Vortex. A 
if I tried to go through, I would burst in pieces. I was trapped like a rat in a hole. I could blow one of the walls. I could blow one of the walls. find a way out. Contacted base was a solution. Oleg or Sasha could blow one of the walls from outside and I'd be out in a second. Not only couldn't I hit the right radio frequency, but I couldn't use my PDA as a phone. Even if I could, if the military detected the signal, I would have them in my pants in a matter of minutes to end up nowhere else on the wall. I'm going to save this trash battery in case it decides to be useful any other time. I knew it perfectly. The only way the anomaly could disappear was with another blowout. And blowouts were unpredictable. There could be one in hours, weeks or even months. What was I supposed to do? Supplies for six days. I could spend a few days with thirst and hunger. But it wouldn't last long.
Get out of here, Stark. I wish I could, you idiot. Maybe I could explode the grenade. And I had calculated wrong. I would end up deaf, but better deaf than dead. I could even heal myself with some artifacts. Do you copy? The controller was a perfect mutant. Since his job was impossible to track, it was easy for an experienced stalker to find snork bites or bloodsucker marks. But with the controller, the evidence was a criminal at the same time. Yesterday, our angel saved me from the controller. My wife thought I was on board of a fishing boat. It was obvious that the pay I brought every few months did not fit the job, but she never asked. It was not fair for her to receive the news that I had disappeared for no reason, but that was a risk I took when I entered the zone. Deep inside, I always knew that the sun would claim my life, but not now and not this way. The sun was eager to take my life. This was its torture chamber, and it seemed to be enjoying it. First you're born, you learn how to eat and walk. Then you speak and read, they train you toughly. Then you're born in the sun, you learn to eat and walk, speak and read it. It trains you toughly, and after all that, you wonder, are you ready to die? I think you are.
Base 2 Alpha. Base 2 Alpha 8, what's your status? You got a Merc. Or what's left of him? Status Alpha 8. Imprisoned. Dead. Roger, there's a blowout coming. Find shelter. I'm safe. Roger, good hunting.